And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some action Shivana. Gonna try out a, another Demacia deck here, like like we talked about uh, with the last video, if you saw that. We're testing out some different decks that could be for the uh, seasonal tournament this weekend, as long as we qualify. We're in uh, Diamond 4 right now, so we got some ranking up to do this week. But I'm pretty set on playing Garen Poppy. I'm convinced I like that one, so checking out, trying out some other ones. I uh, don't think we'll be playing Ziggs Malphite. Uh, but we're going to try this. I've been been—I've always done well with the Demacia deck, so I kind of want to stay with Demacia. Um, and Action Sivir has been a popular deck, of course. But I think that maybe instead of Sivir, Shivana could be in a better spot um, because of Shivana's ability to block and grow with Fury, with uh, Bandle being the most you know popular expansion right now. Lots and lots of like 2-2s and things like that out around. And I like how Shivana you know, gets to not only attack, but then also block really well, where Sivir doesn't really block very well, but even though it can attack uh, incredibly well. Also, with the with the nerfs to Ruin Runner, you know, Ruin Runner not nearly, you know, again, Ruin Runner not very good at blocking either. Um, I like Screeching Dragon more at the five mana spot. And so playing Shivani, you also get Screeching Dragon, and just that combination of Shivani Screeching Dragon, I think is well positioned. Also going to play a couple Radiant Guardian because of all the different burn decks. Um, you know, all the Ziggs Poppies and Puff Cap decks and things like that. I really like life, some Life Steal and some Tough. So we'll try a couple Radiant Guardians there also. Uh, one Blade Keeper. Blade Keeper is awesome at growing Auction or, you know, any of those other cards. But, um, you know, it's kind of like kind of like another Bright Steel Protector where it's a unit that gets you a target for Action and just works really well with it. So we're going to try one of those. Um, and that's kind of about it. You know, everything else is kind of pretty normal for like an action Sivir deck, but we're going to be trying it with Shivana. So let's get to it. Let's go ahead and, and just see what this deck's all about, see how these cards work together. We'll play some action Shivana. All right, so this is the kind of match, this is the kind of deck that I'm talking about for Radiant Guardian. I got you a Nasher, update the deck list. Copy paste it, very good. All right, so we got Radiant Guardian. I think we'll send the Prismatic Barrier back. I think it will keep Fleet Feather Tracker, even though Fleet Feather Tracker does die to lots of stuff. Maybe we'll, maybe I should send it back, but we're like I, I have like this four and five that I really like, but I want to have earlier stuff to go along with it. I don't really want to do nothing the first few rounds. All right, I will take the trade. I am wearing my goggles. We want to stay alive. Staying alive, staying alive. Some stackers are pretty good. Alright, it's taking a lot of damage. Action, really? I <laughs> couldn't have had you like round two or round three, where I did nothing round two or three except for just play Flea Feather Tracker. Uh, yeah, I'm still playing Shivana. I serve my people with pride. I would do something special! Let's put Shivana down to being a 5 2. This is acceptable. It's not ideal, but I think it's acceptable. Because I really, really setting up. Or attempting to set up. Radiant Guardian. I don't need rules to know good from bad. Get this Warlord's Palace started. 
Alright, so for you, you strike first, then you. So that's gonna grow you to be a 5-3. So now you block over edge. here, you block Hug over here. <sighs> we go down to 4. How do I enable Radiant Guardian? Look lively, soldier. Just have to get Radiant Guardian in play. I can't play this, I need the extra mana for Radiant Guardian with the single combat. So we can't let that happen. This is our plan. Obviously, I would have much rather used the Strafing Strike, but my plan is to get Radiant Guardian in play. Virtue guides me. I never. So, this game should be over now. Not today. We got the strafing strike. I don't know, we're healing eight. They they got the, this Mage Seer Conservator was a really lucky hit from the Warden, so like maybe Mage Seer Conservator can create some kind of amazing spell, but uh, we should be able to have this from here. I would think. I'll just take the Concerted Strike. Again, awesome with both these cards. Back up to 20. I guess I probably should have just taken the... I think I should have just taken the auction. To give me more cards. The only way we lose this was like a ruination or something. Even then. Alright, that's the big spell, Winter's Breath. I think that's okay. Go get the shiny dove. I'm fine with that. It is I. Got a lizard and a shovel. Hmm. Obviously we have lots and lots of life now. A lot of different ways I could have done this to finish this game out this round. We'll just go this one. We'll just go this route. All right, so we're one and zero. Oh. Auction Shivana, Radiant Guardian for the win. All 
Oh yeah, I could have Fury lethal the previous round also. Right, instead of going to 20. Braum. Fiora Braum. Bloodstock's probably amazing. They got Fiora and Braum. They're good champions. I like those cards. Uh, but speaking of good champions and I like those cards, I'm going to keep this. We're going to have the uh, Vagabond Grow Shivana. Save our spell mana the first couple of rounds. I said Vagabond. I meant the Blade Keeper. Yeah, they could be a standalone deck. But I figured it's going to be a, a lot about whose champs are bigger, and so I'm going to have the, Must be nice living off that kind of coin. combo. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. I have no time for fools. Not at all. Okay, so they probably have Brittle Steel or Elixir of Iron if they even thought about trading. Probably have one of those. Let us get going. The dragon's rage claws to get out. I feel this by so Show me your best. I don't think that's a good trade for us of Sharp Sight into uh, Elixir of Iron. It is easy, see? Laurent's are born with blades in hand. They are nothing. So both these cards still available. Somebody in chat, Madwheel, says that I'm disappointed we don't get new cards until December. The November expansion is strictly PvE. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but according to the roadmap. But honestly, that's me being greedy. Ride's doing awesome on the game. Um, somebody said earlier that there is a planned balance patch that should be a very large balance patch with lots of balance changes and things like that. I don't know exactly when that is or anything, but... Could be a thing that could be coming up. This would be a good winter. Repost is awesome. Is fun, yes? Repost is awesome. That prismatic barrier, thank you. So we used up an Elixir of Iron and a Bright Seal Protector buff and 
didn't use any interaction from us, so that's good. For the honor of House Laurent, try me. We have to level up Shivana. We should be friends. My steel is this Brom, though. They really shouldn't be attacking with the 3 2, because I obviously have board space issues where they don't have the board space issues. Mm, the world won't save itself, you know. Wish it would. How do we stop Brom? Like, how. Brom's too good. I don't know how we stop Brom. <laughs> Nine health. This would be a good winter. Things are gonna be impossible to kill. It is easy, see? Arna's gonna make a meal of them. The finest blades for my life. I need only one to win. In and out. I don't know what we're going to do, do about this problem. Ooh. Okay. Now we're talking. I'm going to I'm waiting here so I can get the, the get the plus 2 plus 2 spell shield. Which I think that's what we want to do. Yeah, I think we just want all the champions plus 2 plus 2 spell shield. You're covered. The barrier also. I don't know about this barrier also. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Maybe I should be waiting for that barrier. I've got your back. I'm surprised they didn't give the Braum barrier. I'm very surprised about that. They have like Okay, so that that's most that's gotta be another Braum, right? Another, another Braum in hand right there. No, it was another it was a Fiora. <laughs> Too many champions for me. It's their third Braum, second Fiora, but of course they had the entreat for that second Fiora. But we're running them out of cards. 
We're getting there. First we fight. Listen, me friends. Looks like, looks like all is lost. Shield up. Um, well, we go down to six. Oh, they have room. No closer. Shield up. Virtue guides me. Looks like they got me. Unless we draw another Shivana, but that was already our second Shivana. We only have one left in the deck. But Shivana is the one card that can save us. Not a good card. Let's show our friends the door. Problem's my favorite card in the in the game. In this game showing you know why Braum is so good. I fight for the fallen. We will move on. Ezreal Vi. Alright, like my chances against anything besides Braum. Not a very good opener. We don't need all those spells, okay? So we're gonna have Tracker Preservarium. That's not too bad. Don't even need to play like the Tracker right away, but it's also just might as well. Mind. Not might as well anymore. We can't attack with it. Because now we could draw action and we want the one spell mana for shape stone against you know, like to save action. I don't know, I don't have a code for the opponent's deck for the fewer problem in my opponent played, I don't know. While these cards are annoying, at the end of the day, they are just some 1-1s. One that if we, you know, find our dragons, they'll be much bigger. Plus two costs do certainly hurt. Lots of stuff. Vagabond. You are a welcome sight, Vagabond. So are you, Shivana. I think I want to get this Vagabond in first. I think I want to get the Warlord's Palace started before anything else. You know, like, again, the earlier you get started, the fat, you know, the earlier it levels up. They must have got something pretty good from the loping telescope. Swipe it off.
Alright, so they have six cards. And I have eight. Nine. I have nine. So we're doing pretty good in that respect. One girl wrecking crew. Quick hands make quick work. All right, so we're gonna uh, waking sand, single combat, kill the vine. So we trade. Um, we trade our one mana card and single combat for their, you know, three mana removal and buy. Not a bad trade. What am I going? What am I going to want to do next round? Shivana. Hmm. I'll just Preservarium. Also, we don't Shivani yet. Alright, let's go. Concerted Strike's good. That card's a problem. That card's definitely a problem. Gonna find a gift for an Ecton, right, Arda? So I could con try to concerted strike, kill it. That opens me up to removal spells. Oh yeah, def I'll definitely be watching Arcane when it comes out, absolutely. What's up, fishies? Happy 31 months! We are just talking about that. I'm not sure if I really have a favorite deck. I guess I'd, I'd probably say the Heimer Victor, though. Because it's got Glorious Evolution, and that's always a lot of fun to play. This Curious Shell Folk card is quite the card as well. Man, what are the chances they don't have a removal spell? Probably not too good, but I can't. We just can't let Curious Shell Folk stay alive. Okay. All right, good. That'll do. That's a good sign that they don't have another Curious Shell Folk. They're willing to uh, I do not break uh, cast that the prank. Is worthless. We are what we do. The same calling card from our other case. Find us keepers. I guess maybe I should have just taken Bright Steel Protector because that's. A body and a target. Yeah, I probably should have just taken Bright Soap Protector. You're covered. So it looks like the, I think the Trinket Trade made. I think the, the Trinket Trade made that card, I think. What wondrous discoveries await below? Huh. Why not just like trade with the 3 1? Also, I probably should have just played that first, but. Yeah, I'll get you the code right after this, fishies. Right after this game. Dragon 
blood is Demacian heart. <laughs> Basically we wanted to rally. Which is why I haven't been playing some of the other things, so we could play Shivana plus Rally. That gets me to two. We'll get our legs in. One. They obviously blocked the four two. If not attack with it, then they then they Block Shivana. I think it's worth attacking with it. Oh, they're blocking Shivana. Yeah, that makes more sense. Alright, down to six. I'm not sure how they stop this Shivana from killing them. I don't think they have Nexus healing. This is justice. It's gonna have it's gonna be a six seven with spell shield, and then we also have a prismatic barrier to protect it. Like I don't know. Yeah. Good job, spell shield. All right, that'll do. Victory for Jarvan. Poppy Tarek, another awesome four-man champion with Tarek, just like Braum. These champions I really like that are underrated. They're coming back to haunt us. I want to keep that Golden Ages, but I should probably send it back. These would probably be the kind of decks that I'd be banning. Definitely the Braum deck. I don't know. I guess it depends on what else they have. This is justice. I don't know. Is it worth the Bright Steel Protector? I feel like they just don't block. Yeah, and they just take it. Preservariums have been very good. Keeping our hand filled. Hopefully no champion. Alright, no champion, that's good. My shield is yours. No champion is good. No time to rest. I demand satisfaction. Aha. Hardly fair. Are they thinking about golden ages? Oh, man. Now we got options. I was definitely planning on just playing Screeching Dragon, but Fleet Feather Tracker plus Bright Seal Protector is good. Fleet Feather Tracker plus Blade Keeper is good. Good part about like Tracker, Blade Keeper, we could go towards leveling up this action more. Yeah, I think. Well, I don't know. Let's play Screeching Dragon. Screeching Dragon is just awesome. Beauty and life. Both of them? Alright, so they could have a repost. If I challenge Tarek and use Shapestone, plus two plus one, we're at a six six. They repost. I could still save. Do that. Okay. Oh, I should just have action attacking also, probably. Oh, 
Okay, so plus four, plus four, a seven, nine. No, plus two, plus one, I have an eight, seven. Alright, that's not bad. Seven, nine. So by casting that, we I make sure that I get to um, you know, level up the action before like they open attack, right? So that we get to do that uh, predict plus draw one, plus we get an extra point of damage on the Tarek, plus we kill the two one. So you know we did all that for the for the single combat. Now single combat's obviously a very very good important card. You're covered. We're able to do some things. If I play this, I don't have Prismatic Barrier anymore. Let's see, I play this. Yeah. Shatter them. Protect and strike. Aha. Never submit. You can thank me later. Hug it out. Shield up. So they have a Tarek and only two cards. We got four cards in an action. Plus we have this Warlord's Palace about to come on down, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. Oh, seven mana. Okay. So just no, no Blade Keeper or Screeching Dragon this round, I guess. Because we're going to go Tracker, Hunter, Barrier... You have something to support that with? Who does not know the name Laurent? Yep. So that's the card that's the problem. The holes are born with blades in hand. Look sharp. What's up, Hayden? Hardly fair. Unyielding. I am the protector of the mountain. Ah, I pity you. <laughs> Villains beware. <laughs> to protect all. Their things can't take damage or die. Never submit. So they get, they get an attack there, but by attacking there, we get to strike, create this thing, and I think we're going to draw two. Well, let's see, zero cost copy of the strongest ally that died this game, so that, that would be a Screeching Dragon. So we can make their things vulnerable, neither of them are vulnerable right now, but I have the Merciless Hunter. Let's draw two. Because we, it's basically draw... Cost one less this round. I can't take damage or die. Oh sure, take your time. I love to be kept waiting. Good, glad to know. I love to keep you waiting. I've got your back. Gotta get rid of these challengers. Everyone should have a grappling hook. Okay. Start the Warlord's Horde countdown. Oh no. Eh, it's not that bad actually. Look sharp. It's fine. Honor guide. We got prismatic barrier. All right, so down to three. Wow, 
I'm not sure... What's this thing's actual health going to be? Like, I probably won't... I won't be able to kill it, will I? I think it's going to be more than five. If I'm Merciless Hunter... Let me just play this. Yeah, it's going to be seven. Shivana. This thing's a 6-5? Oh, right. This blessing of Targon. Gotta find a gift for an Ecton! Right, Arda? You! You're Tarek, the protector! Climb well, and good luck on your journey. Alright, so obviously we're gonna do this. Um, I guess that's it. Okay, not bad. Sure, you're all shiny and majestic, but can you float? I could certainly try. Fire and fury burn in me. To protect all. So the good thing is they don't have any challengers, so we get to we get to determine exactly how combat's going to happen. Just a little farther. Go, floaty crystals. Do not test my patience. Go, floaty crystals! Look sharp! Shatter them! Look sharp! To Good evening, Mordecai. What's up, you the best? Submit. Hey, y'all. Okay. I'll get out. This one's a fighter! Okay, I'm gonna go with the action... Striking. I guess let's, let's actually go with this. We'll keep Merciless Hunter alive. Let's go with the action so that we, you know, level up this Warlord Horde. We love it when they run. Yeah, we're gonna be trying for lethal with our open attack with just you know, like these two on the right challenge, those two, and then attack with all these. We have plus two, plus two on our champions also, but that's still. That's exactly 13 attacking right now, but then we can also give him both plus two, plus two spell shield to make it more damage. So we just kind of outgrinded our opponent with the help of Preservariums and... Preservariums and, and action, just these Warlords things created a lot of cards for us. Zig's Malphite didn't go so well, and it wasn't necessarily the, the deck's fault. We ran into a couple hot opponents and things like that. Like, we, we lost, like, a mirror match, and we lost a, a deep deck that had a good hand that we didn't, and then we lost to a, a ridiculous pumpcap peddler. And... Victory for Javin! Uh oh. Demacia decks do not like Sejuani. Sejuani always a problem for Demacia decks. Not the best matchup to have a slow start. Not the best matchup to not do anything the first couple of rounds. Good people don't look the other way. All right, good. In and out. Good draw there. The dead don't need riches. Hug it out. Good draw there. To get out. Okay, well we're we're drawing well. This is justice. Not too bad of a trade. Traded four mana for six mana. My shield is yours. Dog 
magic is worthless. We are what we do. This has gone pretty well for us so far. But it's still all about Sejuani, right? We still are not a good Sejuani. First Sejuani deck. Another action is the that grappling hook card. I don't know, maybe that's better than Shapestone. Gonna find a gift for an actin, right, Arda? Villains beware. Kind of doing this before they could set Juani. And since we had the sharp side, we had protection against Monster Harpoon in that respect. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Pain is nothing. I've got your back. Born for conquest. I am more than I seem. Awesome. And there we go. We're gonna be able to give the, the plus two plus two to the, the champions. And you know, have the rally after that also, but you know, obviously we had a really good open attack. So Sejuani was the problem, but their hand you know, my opponent's hand was just you know, Gangplank, Sejuani, Monster Harpoon, those are awesome cards, but if that's all you have, like, those are usually great for, like, the top end after you curve out, and they just didn't curve out. They, their first, you know, three rounds were not very good. They only played the 1-1 one, one for the first three, or the, the one mana card, sorry, the one mana 2-2, two, two. so that's why, that's why we won that game. We, they lost that the first couple of rounds. We also top decked incredibly well. Perfect action draw, very good sharp sight draws in there. We, we top decked really well. And curved out. All right, so there we go. So that's uh, Action Shivana. I liked playing this deck, though. This is, you know, like I said, I, I'm very comfortable with the Demacia decks with just uh, how combat works back and forth and stuff. Those are those are definitely what I'm comfortable with. And this is a, um, a Demacia deck that has the good card advantage, the Warlord's Palaces, um, like that, and the Warlord's Horde. Like, those are, you know, really, really good landmarks. So Action's a very powerful champion and only two mana. I like that quite a bit. The Preservariums were awesome, you know, having us keep going. Um, and then we saw Radiant Guardian. We saw, like, that very first game, just the power of Radiant Guardian. So we did get um, kind of cheesed out by a Braum deck. That's, that's just a real bad matchup for us, for sure, because they just go bigger, right? They're doing the same thing, but they just go much bigger. And um, so that was, you know, that happens. My opponent did a great job drawing champions in that matchup, too. They had, you know, three Brahms, two Fioras, um, you know, so they got us. All right, but uh, besides that, you know, 4-1, um, you know, I was very comfortable with the deck. Liked it quite a bit. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. If this is, um, you know, what do you think? Do you think this is, should be a deck that I play in the seasonal term if we get there? Um, you know, what do you what do y'all think about this one? All right, but that's it for Action Shivana. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.